Yeah, I'm Rashid Charles Diawi, I'm the Director for Housing, the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Property Planning. Okay, Mr. Gary, who wants to make you give a brief background of the new vision of the housing department? Yeah, well, I mean, presently, the focus direction of the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning, now that I mean, the ministry, they move now more for address housing issue, the delivery of affordable housing, that now the new focus direction of the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Country Planning. And the Honorable Minister of Lands, Dr. Tura Excellency, now that's now the, the policy mandate we account with. And because of that, um, we don't do some institutional reform in the ministry. We are informally we will get, we will get a housing and country planning directorate, when I mean one directorate for housing and country planning. So because of the new focus direction, we'll be put premium on housing and planning. They don't decide for separate, that particular unit into two separate directorates. Mm -hmm. So now we get a housing directorate with the primarily with the main affordable housing delivery issues and also development control or building regulations. Okay, um, firstly, I want to let you tell the general public what you need to mean by building permit. Well, building permit, now part of the government in regulatory framework where they require everybody before you start to construct a house or any other form of building before get first clearance from government, before obtain permission from government, but then you able to go ahead for do that you construct your work. Okay. Um just for the ministry in vision in terms of housing and country planning. Um like according to what you say um, they don't the ministry don't separate or don't make a different directory. Your department, um, how long you don't they act as director at this your department? Yeah, I start for action and the, the capacity as director of housing um, sometimes in March this year, you know, March 2021. Then I became substantive director of housing in May. Okay. What are the processes and procedures where it can take for make first you get a building permit? Yeah, uh, for let you get a building permit, first you start to you for don't prove say you don't you get the land. You for you will get ownership of the land where you get. So meaning that the land, you for that you will get documents, we register in the administrative general office where they show say that you own the land. Then secondly, you for you will get an architect. Or design a building plan for you so that you will be able to show you the type of construction the type of structure where you want to put up on the land so that building plan day before attaching day with the land document for able to show we say yes this is not the land we are get i want to put this type of building there then we we'll look at it now we we'll also look therefore look at the the, the the connection between the person where they apply and the ownership of the property because sometimes somebody can go get the property, they won't put up in development, but he not get a chance or can apply. So sometimes it can take somebody who can apply for it, we would normally refer to her as an agent. So that person where they apply, is supposed to submit an ID card, you know, so that um, we will be able to know whether or not the person will get the, own, the ownership of the land and the proposed construction. Whether or not instead they apply or that somebody else, else is sent for their apply for. Okay, um, not come to this because right now everybody like within a digital world now, not say somebody they then in that of the country the one apply for a building permit. And again, the process they down again, the process the procedures through that now. Yes, um, first we start with when the doctor to take over as minister of land housing and country planning, yeah. um. He put we together with you know, the experts then at the ministry, mm -hmm. you know, at the various directorates then. We develop what we call standard operating procedures. You know, so these standard operating procedures, they tell every 
service will deliver the procedures, the processes that will possibly follow for then be able to access the, the, deli the service they will deliver. So one of the processes and procedures then now that um, uh, when you want building permit, for example, we, we don't design application forms then. Then forms they are they in hard copies. That is if the person will in get chance for work at Canada Ministry for apply, mm -hmm. or somebody will be out, if they far away, but you want to apply, we get also an online platform with ABC. And the ministry don't get a website we will launch. Mm -hmm. So if person want out, want apply for building permit. If we will be out, we go to the ministry in website. You know, if we able to access the form, you download that, you fill the form, you know, you can even submit it online. Yeah. How long the process it take, especially online, for that you get a bit permit? The moment you don't you don't submit your your application for four hours, 40, 40, 48 hours, and two hours. No, the, the, the processes of building permit you know, you know, you know, it cannot be done in 24 hours or 48 hours or so. According to the SOP we don't develop, they it will take maximum ten days for let it go through all the processes then. We can go for involve site inspection, etc. Okay. Please okay, take me through with the regard housing plan. Generally when you talk about housing, the first thing they can have in mind uh like building permit. Of course we all know say uh Boko house where people they, they be, not can get building permit. How not can money for no if this house don't be, you know, they're building permit, how can you know that thing? How can you know that, that kind of issue that they want to be facing? Well, sometimes we can do spot checking. Spot checking in every area, like Freetown or Western area in, in particular, we don't divide it into various works and zones, and we get build the inspectors and all their works, and they, then they monitor construction works the way they go on, and all of their works, and they, and they can see physically who their construction works they go on. They can interrogate the people there whether they get permit or not. So we are they not get permits, they can stop them, they can issue stop notices to them, etc. Some area, you know, where construction work not almost done the near completion or whatever. We can do also um, a spot check visit where in the whole directorate can move. Sometimes can they you know we get the director, the deputy director, chief building inspectors, we can move with you know, police personnel then we are in because we sometimes we don't need really type of actually enforce vigorously, you know, the implementation of the building regulations. So we can move with police personnel and in areas and we say we don't stop people then they don't agree for car for take the permit or then they still continue for carry out the construction works with the effect arrest. You know, so that um, uh, we can process their arrest and their prosecution. Okay, in case like when I don't want to be possible, don't start for B. When I get certain stage with somebody in which way, like when I can charge offense, when I can charge anything against us, say like an offense to a state because you don't want to be the public. Yes, because the laws they will provide say if you, before you start any construction, was if a car apply for building permit, they forgive for building permit before you start. And the law also go further for, for advice, warn everybody say if you don't follow that procedure, they are. Then you go ahead for do construction or you are committing an offense. So when somebody don't start a construction work, we don't stop and you know, you know, play stop. We don't invite an office, you don't show up. There is still the go so ahead. So can give a time frame like we can give a time. Normally, in on the spot, Normally, when we give them a stop notice, mm -hmm. we will invite them for kind of office. We will give them three days. Okay. If they don't show up, we will go issue the another notice. We can call. Where we can call section 14 and 18 notice that is it is make reference to the relevant act we mandate everybody for let them comply for let them act up to me the permit before they and the, the crimes where they don't commit if they don't do that and the punishment where they will get that notice a clearly spelled that out so when somebody ignore that as well then we they go out now with police officers they will go arrest and prosecute them so sometimes we can arrest where we not don't have the notices there yet. But when we normally, we normally do arrest in that kind of situation, we urge the, 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 the people there for let their cast commence the process for apply for building permit and then we can release the, the, the offenders there on bail pending the, you know the compliance of the the, the contractor. Okay. Yeah. Since you take over as director, what will be success stories? 
Yeah, one of my success stories is that we don't successfully um, introduce an SOP with the standard operating procedures. And also part of my success story is that um, I don't actually review the, 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 the building permit fees then. Because the building permit fees then before I took over, now they were, they were actually established in 1993. The building permit fees, the charges then. So when we take over, I review the charges then. They, so that um, uh, look at the, the, the fees that would be the charge in 1993 and try for review then to a formula for bringing a car taking into consideration the state of the economy today, how the value of them fees then they as of now. So I don't successfully review the building permit fees. And secondly, we don't do a posting of all personnel there across the country. In all of the districts, towns and cities and across the country we get building inspectors there, we get building inspectorate units there where they serve there. So we don't successfully do a posting, a routine posting of staff there so that we don't staff them, we don't move from one station to another. And those staff are now settled so so you can find our new staff in new stations and to the time for come up. This is to enhance effectiveness, you know, of the personnel there. You know, I mean, there are a lot of uh, successes that we don't score. You know, um, even the with the type of reviews, you know, the structures. I mean, the processes and procedures there. You know, will be done. even the the notices then will be there. Some of the notices then they, they were not effective. You know, so we don't the type of success in that. And so, in the area of doing business, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we a uh, World Bank project. Okay, think, when it comes to that point, they not just talk about also the challenges because in any so anything they do, you get success, you must get a challenge. What you don't be so far, challenges. You know? One of the greatest challenges that is the legal framework under which we operate, because we this the, this directorate uh, depend heavily on the Free Time Improvement Act, you know, for issue building permit and enforce building regulations. You know, and the Pilton Improvement Act is so limited in scope in terms of the area of coverage. You know, where we say not cover across the country, you know, it just cover Western area, etc. So, the limitations that they will get because of their act, then they some of their act, they are the really not the stand now, you know, to the current trends of things. So, we don't they try for review that as at the talk show, we don't put in place all of their acts, then they. We don't get a cabinet paper with Mr. Don't present in our cabinet for let it allow we for review the act and they and we don't get a cabinet approval for that. You know, so that also is another success story, you know. Okay, um since you you don't talk about you want to talk about the World Bank project, I don't know if our bank project are like just give me a background of that background. Yeah, well um before I came into office, I mean there was a, a, a project for actually, you know, develop uh, the, the National Building Code. I mean, this was, this project was started when the Housing Directorate been in the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure, you know, but the project was never completed. So, we don't come, we don't look at, um, we don't look at the draft, because there is a draft National Building Code, we don't look at, um, and also, we don't get an engagement with the civil institution of architect. architects. Then, then say we don't develop a draft national building code, where they we don't even present to the president, to the GD president. So we will work with them, you know, in close collaboration. For law, we look at the two drafts then for harmonizing and try for produce a final national a draft national building code. So in respect of that. We will solicit support from the World Bank doing business project. We will be say that project then uh, at the Ministry of Trade and Industry and the project post within the implement. So we already don't present a concept note to the doing business project for let them advertise for consultants that for let them, you know put together the national building code. So we are pushing that and we are hopeful that by the end of this year we will get a national building code enacted. Okay, I'm waiting on the Ministry of Vision in terms of housing. 
the ministry envision in terms of housing and for law will achieve affordable housing right so um because of that we we they do a lot of research we don't they work we don't they get engagement with you know uh, companies and other investors then you know we they wish for let their guy invest in, in the housing market that's value most of them are external companies then also bottom man our vision is actually to encourage reunions and investors then for consider going into the use of local building materials you know such as uh, uh, hydrofoam bricks you know and other forms of roofing materials etc so because we don't see a lot of prospect in the use of local building materials in terms of cost effectiveness you know the 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 durability of the materials and the environmental friendliness you know compared to the use of cement or concrete you know so we don't see say with the use of local building materials we will be able to achieve up to 60 to 65 percent of the material where you go into a housing construction you know produced locally and we will be able to get a very beautiful design you know we get a very beautiful uh, home we will be able to produce out of that. So we will therefore encourage Rallinians then for let them let we begin for shift we, we, we interest you know towards those local building materials then or produce with houses then we will be living. You know so this is our focus drive in terms of housing delivery. Okay and director um, okay see normally we get the SRI say where the SRI is on the way they can give X to houses then and when I say we can now they use the same X for be for stop work later. What are the next source? I mean what's in the what on and when I get get the next source in terms of these activities I wanna get back or wanna give X to houses. You know why people can complain where somebody was the in the beginning videos, just go get an X. When I when I when I get any relationship in terms of there Execute the job they are going to do for go get extra houses. Eh? Yeah, well, I mean, SLRA then, the mandate is so far as you know the housing industry concerned. Now that I mean, then they tend for protect you know the the the, the, the right of way. You know, so that um, then no, you know being that na the na the na the na the mandate for you know the right of way, uh, you know. So I um, uh, that that make when people can not be at the right of way, it against the, the the act, you know. So they can go for go mark X or notify that person say this structure yeah, it didn't have the right of way and that there could be a possibility for law we actually demolish their structures there and that is for SLR on our part we they mark a house X one for no, give notice to the individual and say this house not supposed for stand with a day secondly for we they mark X on house or give notice say we don't or we they seek court order for bring down this house say for example also we don't identify say that a dangerous building you understand after we don't have the necessary notices to the owner of that property for putting down you know we can go with mark x for that host day for let the person know say this host will get for bringing down so we follow the necessary for either Secure an order for bring down this uh, structure yeah, yeah. or for make with them slam injunction on this construction from continuing. Those are the instances. Um, look, and then finally, now we we'll say um, this don't be another challenge. Most times, the kind of people they keep being without any get any seat for the permit. So, Lord says, we don't build a house, don't do it, don't live inside. Most times, like you get the cases, and now say, this person don't be, not get the permit. Now, like you get the cases, then I need to take the permit. Yeah, we are in the world, you don't, don't be finished. Finish, don't finish, don't complete. Don't finish, yes. 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 don't even Without occupy the house. Yes. Don't occupy the house. The one day, we know they go after them directly. Okay. 
issues that can arise we can require them for present building permit say for example you know like somebody you know maybe like a for me security either you have you tend that you document as a collateral a bank or a court or whatever then the demand say you forget in addition to your land document you forget a building permit you know in those instances the people that can no. They could be urged for let the cat to be for them. In that case, uh, there's any penalty for that? In fact, as it is now, we the devil develop um, a cabinet paper for let we let we get the, the mandate for for impose penalty on people that fines there on people that we don't build or even wait there in the act of building without a building permit. So before we process now application for you for the building permit will be put impose fine on you first. So this is what we are working on currently. Well I don't think you message to people already they be without building permit. Yeah well the, the message we are get for them is that um, uh, for being without a building permit, firstly you they break the law because the law requires say anybody with a bill is supposed to get a building permit. And secondly in no day that you interest for letting you build without a building permit because you where they put up they, they put that building up there for you know to professional you know to engineer you know to a technic, technician you may not know the standard with that particular construction they require for let it be a safe home for you you know now only when the, the construction they don't do a design for you we don't kind of this means to don't look at the, 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 the architectural design, we don't look at the land, the topography of the land, we don't see this building will be able to map another land. Or this construction design here yeah, again defect. Where we detect there is a defect, we can go and do forward checking and analysis or to the correct time. We can do all of those things for you so that the building where they put up for you, it will be a safe place for you, a safe home for you for later to dwell, and not only for you for you surrounding neighbors then. because for example a building collapse there's a tendency they say it will collapse and run and collapse on another building or it will even collapse on passers by where it will be uh, exposed there to danger you know so that's why everybody get responsibility if you want to put up a house can for goodness sake can a ministry apply for building permit so that they will go do all the necessary checks then they so that they build for you a house where you will see for you done. Thank you very much for talking to me, Thank you.